Well, I think that uh, one of the essences is that people uh, agree to pay uh, fairly high taxes in order to get uh, certain services as equal and public. And I think that the best services in Finland, what we have managed to create, uh, it's our education system that is uh, that is fairly equal to people and that is uh, without any uh, fees for students uh, from the beginning uh, till the uh, master's and doctor's degrees. And perhaps then the uh, other side of it is that the as economies, Nordic countries are fairly flexible that uh, that they function uh, in the market uh, market economy and uh, they are open economies mm-hmm. that uh, they are not protectionist economies so the market is fairly free but then people pay taxes and do get services and certain amount of equality uh, in return mm-hmm. When we talk about the Nordic model in Central and Eastern Europe, people very often say that this is a culturally specific model and it cannot really be exported to other parts of the world because you have to be Scandinavian to to actually introduce it. And then there are others who say, well, basically the Scandinavians were never really the Nordics and they developed it as well. Do you think there is a relevance for uh, the Nordic model in Central and Eastern Europe? I think there probably is is relevance but then of course the political debate has to has to come from the needs that people uh, people what people expect uh, from their governments or their politicians but i think that in today's world that is so unstable and unsure that one good thing of the nordic thinking is to invest publicly in individuals and uh, I think that that kind of thinking um, might actually a- apply in different places, be it then their security in the labor market or their education. And uh, I think that that could be the starting starting point. Mm-hmm. And uh, of course, it's something that in, in Nordic country, countries, our model, uh, it has changed through time and perhaps there's tradition but actually Finland used to be part of Russia and mm. we became independent by a violent civil war mm. and after that the building of more equal society mm. began so I, I think that at least Finland has a fairly sometimes bloody and partly colonial uh, history and uh, so it's not your background that mm. defines your future. Right. Thank you.